Hello y'all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm showing you guys a low carb, high protein meal that I've been eating a lot. It's so tasty and it's so good for you. So I just used some, this is all the ingredients that you, you're going to need. I have some zucchini spirals, brown rice pasta, garlic, can't repeat everything right now but it'll all be in the description down below. And if you're wondering where to get all this from, I got almost everything except for the garlic from Trader Joe's. If you need the garlic, I believe I got that one from just my local grocery store, which is Albertsons. So if you're in like the Southern California area, you probably have an Albertsons. But here, I'm just going to be dicing up all my vegetables. So I'm just going to dice up my onions, green bell pepper, and mince up the garlic. chicken so this does have 8% fat so I don't use any oil any butter because you don't need it because of the extra fat that you're gonna get from the chicken Ooh, look at that juiciness but you want to just basically kind of chop it up not chop it up but like you see I'm like mm, 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 mm. you want to do that and try to get it as small as you can just cuz I mean, you need to want big chunks of ground chicken and it'll cook faster so go ahead and do that and then this is how I get rid of the excess juices from the chicken I'll just put a pop pile put a paper towel kind of tilt the pan you know you see me doing it and then it'll soak up the excess juice you don't want to take all of the juice because I mean it's gonna be dry as fuck because it is chicken so just take like half the juice <laughs> and then I like to add in the vegetables afterwards because I do want the vegetables to still be pretty crunchy I don't want to saute them first so that it's all soft and like you know and then my taco seasoning, I just sprinkle it until it covers the top. Like that's how I measure it, that's it. I don't know how much I put, but just sprinkle it until the whole thing is covered. And then after you mix it up, I'm just gonna go ahead, go, go ahead and cover it up, let every, all the seasonings kind of sink in to the chicken. And then afterwards, I'll season it a little bit more for flavor, because this taco seasoning is fucking spicy. It's more spicy than flavorful, but it's still good. And yeah, just turn it on low to medium heat. 
I don't have a cover, so I, you gotta improvise, okay? <laughs> I used my pan. So now I'm just gonna cook up the brown rice pasta. I did about like three handfuls, but like small handfuls. Because this is low carb, you can use a pasta or you don't have to use pasta at all. It's completely up to you. This was my post-workout meal, so I did want to have those carbs to help with the protein. You know, build in the booty, okay? So here I am just seasoning the ground chicken with some chicken powder for more flavor because like I said, the taco seasoning is way more spicier than it is flavorful. Here I am, you know, just testing it out, making sure I like it. Mm -hmm. So after the ground chicken is done, I, go ahead, I went ahead and washed the pan so I could cook up my zucchini spirals, zucchini noodles, whatever you want to call them. Um, but this recipe is honestly great just to get your vegetables in. But I also freaking love zucchini, so I'm probably being biased, you know? But here I am, seasoning the zucchini. Gotta season everything. I love this chicken powder. I got it from, I think it was a 99 Ranch Market. And it's zero calorie, but it's like so freaking flavorful. Like, it's so good. I love it. I literally use it on everything. If you can't tell. And then I drained the pasta already. And yes, so I have gotten questions about the zucchini noodle getting super watery. It's gonna happen because zucchini has so much water in it. When you cook it, it's all just gonna, it's just gonna flow out. So I do the same paper towel trick and soak up all the extra juices, juices, and then plate out the zucchini, put the pasta on top of that hoe. Mm. I'm getting hungry again. Delicioso. Yeah, I was struggling a little bit, okay? But we get it done. That's how we do it here. So then, yeah, I put my ground chicken into a container while I was cooking the zucchini. So just put as much as you wanted to eat. I did not measure it out clearly. But then I just put the um, ground chicken in the pan again, put some marinara sauce, mix the two together, and then pop it on top of the pasta and zucchini. Mm. Then I finish it off with some mozzarella cheese just for some more fat, you know, just to make it even more tasty. But yeah, that's it. Let me know how you guys like it down below. Woo! Alright y'all, so that was my zucchini spaghetti pasta ground chicken recipe. I've been making it all the time on my Instagram, so if you follow my Instagram, you've seen it many, 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 many times. So I finally made a recipe for you guys. I'll have all the measurements down below. As you can tell, I fucking eyeballed everything, so we'll see how that goes. But I got you. I'll, fig I'll figure it out. I'll put it in my fitness pal. Jot that shit down for you. Mm. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little cooking recipe. I'll be back with some more comment down below whatever you want to see if you like this video if you want to see my cooking like and subscribe to help you girl out i'm sweating this is fucking hot as fuck right now but i'm gonna go enjoy my food now bye